And thank you. We turn now to a tight knit community getting answers on a murder that left many heartbroken. 17 year old Francisco Aguilar is set to spend decades in prison for the murder of 16 year old Jacqueline Nunez back in January. Annika Johns joining us from Paiute County where her friends and family are processing that ruling today. Annika. In January, a 16 year old girl was desperately running for help on this road here from a 17 year old with a gun. When police arrived, they found her alone, lying on the ground with a bullet in her head and a shooter on the run. Now they did end up catching this shooter and he has pled guilty for his crimes. And today he was sentenced, giving this small but tight knit Utah community some closure, but leaving some, they say, with scars they won't ever be able to fully heal. Driving along Dock Springs Road, you'll come across a small memorial of flowers, stuffed animals, and messages of love for 16-year-old Jacqueline Nunez. She was amazing. She had the best, what she called jokes, but they were insults, and they were amazing. What I would do to get one more joke. In a short, less than 10-minute drive from the memorial are the Paiute County offices, where today, 17-year-old Francisco Aguilar was sentenced 25 years to life for her murder. Court documents say on the evening of January 8th, Nunez was shot in the leg trying to reach her friend's car as she ran from Aguilar. When the gunfire turned to the vehicle and the driver inside, they had no choice but to flee. Jackie was screaming, please help me, please save me, McCall. And then her body kind of went limp to the ground, and I looked at her through my side view mirror, and I saw her laying there on the ground and I was trying to figure out what was still going on. So I started driving away and as I was still driving, he was still shooting at me after she was on the ground. I pulled over to see what was going on and saw bullet holes and fingerprints down my car and realized what happened and hoping that she was still somehow on my car and not laying up there. After Taylor fled, officials say Aguilar walked to where Nunez was lying in the road and shot her in the head. There was no need for her to be shot and killed at all. No amount of anger is, that's not okay in any situation. Aguilar has been charged as an adult for aggravated murder, but will avoid the death penalty because of his age. For the Paiute County community, today was a step in giving Nunez justice, but what was taken from them can never be replaced. Because there's times when I still call Jackie and I still text her asking her to come with me somewhere. She doesn't answer. And then reality kind of kicks in. Still can't believe that she's gone.